Hey YouTube, it's Sam the Chipman here. Um, I'm doing a fish, another fish and chip shop review. This time I am doing it at uh, Lee's Fish and Chip Shop. Um, I haven't been there in a while and honestly I'm looking forward to this. Um, also, little disclaimer, I forgot to mention uh, in the last video, uh, prices are correct of time of recording. Uh, I'm going to stop yapping and uh, let's go and get some fish and chips. Okay, I am back from the chippy and uh, I have got my fish and chips right here. Uh, so let's go home and review and be aware um, it will be a different view or a different scene, but uh, you'll see what I mean in a bit. All right, guys, uh, I am back. Um, and uh, I'll tell you, like I said, different location. Uh, reason being, well, I had to, in it. Okay, so we're going to review this fish and chips. So uh, let's get straight to it. Okay, so first of all, um, about the packaging is, um, well, it's in a bag, it's in a bag, but carryable, which means you don't have to burn your hands as pretty much. So let's have a look even more detail. Now, after a while, the bag will slowly disintegrate, but um, it is um, eco-efficient, means it can be recycled if need be. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pause the video here and then uh, we're going to have a look at the fish and chips. Okay guys, I've brought a plate. Hi, um, I have to do it from this angle because um, you can't see the fish and chips properly. Okay, so let's open this up. Let's have a look, see what we get. Now, uh, this cost £8.70. So let's have a look what we get for £8.70. Oh, gotta unwrap it again. It's like playing past the parcel, except um, fish and chip style, which is actually good. Okay. So this is what you get for a small portion of the chips and small cod. Um, again, um, it is one size cod, so um, don't worry about it. It's all good. Okay, so let's look at the fish itself. Um, ah, it's sort of, it's sort of um, basically undone itself pretty much. Okay, let's get a small bit. Let's get a small bit. Now, the batter um, has come a little bit loose. Not going to lie. But I don't know if you can see. It is steaming. It is steaming. I can see that. Okay, so... There's not much of a tear noise when it comes to the fish. But the batter itself is actually very tasty. All right, let's actually taste the fish itself. Now let's review the fish. Oh, it's gone walkabouts. Um, fish itself, it's got that nice, like, fish white colour of the cod. Um, it um, looks very soft and fluffy. Exactly what we want in our fish. Let's take a bite. It does still taste like cod, which is great. Exactly what we want in our fish. Okay, let's ha let's get another bite out of this. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Even though the batter is soft, there is a crunch to it. And it's a very satisfying crunch, the sort of crunch that's so enjoyable to listen to for a ASMR. That's how brilliant it is. All right, if you give me one second, we're going to go into the chips. Just one more bite. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, let's go and try um, one of these chips that's gone pick. This now, as you can tell, there is a bit of golden brown to it. And um, it's uh, solid as a chip. Let's go and have a look inside. You can tell there's a lot of white fluffiness to it. Very soft. Let's take a bite. Let's take a bite. That tastes really good, actually. It tastes, it does definitely taste like a chip. And you can tell that the potato has been fried to a point where 
it doesn't actually feel like it's been in the fryer as such. Okay, so I will see you um, in about a minute or two and um, I will let you know my full review. Let's summarize. Hey guys, I'm back and um, let's summarize. So, fish and chips came to £8.70. And uh, as you guys saw, uh, it was kind of a good sized portion. Not too many chips and not too much big fish. Let's review the packaging. Now, even though um, it was wrapped in like chip paper and with no fancy design on the box, uh, the fact it came in a carrier bag, right? Um, that means it's easy to carry, which is what you want. And the fact that uh, it protects you from having your hands getting burned as well. And uh, the chip paper kept my fish and chips lovely and warm until I got um, to this exact location, my fiance's flat. So even though there's no fancy design, but um, the fact that uh, it's easy to carry and also they mark on the packaging salt and vinegar um, I saw this from a couple of customers when they ordered, so I know what they're talking about. Uh, I'm going to give it about three out of five on the chip rating um, on the packaging. Next, let's talk about the fish itself. The fish was, even though there was a many like flakes that you normally see in a fish and chip shop, um, the fact it still had that golden like colour, and as I was eating it, and as I was biting through it, there was the crunch, the beautiful crunch as you put your teeth through that fish. It's absolutely gorgeous the way um, that was handled. And of, don't forget the uh, fluffiness inside the batter itself. Um, it was exactly what you expect from cod. So, bearing in mind the size and the fact there's not much flakiness, I'm going to give the fish four and a half out of five. Again, it, it's a shame it wasn't flaky, but other than that, it was a good piece of fish. Now let's talk about the chips themselves. Now the chips were exactly what you expect, chips. Like the shape, the colour and the fluffy potato inside. And honestly, it tasted absolutely great. Um... The size of the fit chips um, was a small portion, bearing in mind. It didn't really feel like a small portion. It felt like a medium portion, which is no problem whatsoever because, um, you know, it didn't overfill me. In fact, the whole dinner did not overfill me at all. It had the right balance. It didn't fill me up, but it didn't make me hungry. So the chips, I'm going to rate um, four out of five on the chip rating. So, pretty good overall. So, would I ever go back there again? Absolutely. Well, guys, that is it for my chip shop review this week. Um, I will see you guys on my next review. And um, peace. Don't forget to subscribe.